Okay, we are all ready to go. Just about ready to check into the flight here and get the heck on out of here. in but I miscalculated time I was an hour behind in my head so now we get to wait for an hour great that was smart of me but oh well like I always say it's always best to be ahead of time not behind so yeah it was kind of nice because now I'm ready to go home I'm not feeling a hundred percent I feel a little off a little sick so I'm ready to go home get some rest finally we can sleep in too we haven't been able to sleep in or at all because even when we can sleep in there's a school next to the place we were staying so they were loud and noisy so it's gonna be nice to be able to take tomorrow and just sleep in and get some rest so yeah I'm excited for that and to sleep on the couch in my boxers it's time to die out I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Turn it off. Turn it on. Brightness. No. USB plug, that thingy. What's this, the remote? Oh. Wow, this is the nicest plane we've been on so far. At least there's leg room in this one. <laughs>
Well, it's time for our last seven hours in Tokyo. So we get to wander around the airport, get some eats and some noms. Not in a hurry, so we have a seven hour layover or so. So we're just gonna chill here for a bit until the plane gets a little more empty. So might as well sit back and relax for a bit. Watch a video. Wow, this airport does not mess around. So many check-in areas and we can't find it. Then we got shopping and dining up there. Then we get some food. Okay, now we're on to another terminal. This airport's so big, it's like a small city. It's insane. All right, we're checked in to this airport. And now it's time to eat, because we haven't had breakfast yet, and it's almost lunch. And we decided to come to a sushi place, because it'll be the last time we get the chance for that. Yeah. Mm -mm. So it's a cool little place. So this, <clears throat> where we have it, kind pie, last beer in Japan. So now we're going to pick something out. All right, the first course is here. Sashimi and rice. And of course we got our miso soup. And she got the same thing. <laughs> we got some other sushi coming. So here we go. Dimas, less sushi in Japan. It goes back to American crappy and expensive sushi. <laughs> All right, and there's our last wonderful pieces. Ah, oh, let's just get eat it and enjoy it. Well, the last meal, the last sushi meal was good. Enjoyed it. We're gonna miss that kind of food very much so. And we just got a drink from a vending machine again. Or is it a hot one? It's a cold. It's a cold. Yeah, we're gonna miss that, the hot and cold vending machines. So, yeah, we're still got, we got four hours left in Japan. Four hours left. <sighs> so sad to go. Found this in the bookstore here uh, at the airport. It's actually quite interesting. Some stuff I never knew about the otakus and stuff like that. It's really into some good information. It's a good read here while we wait because we got a few hours here left for layover and first the big one in um, Salt Lake City. But there it is. There's the plane that's taking us off this island and taking us home. All right, we are on the plane getting ready to say goodbye to Japan from the air. Oh, this one doesn't come with a cool gaming remote. That's not cool. Whoa, I, I can't actually see these. Yeah, that one's got them too. So we're headed on out.
wouldn't be for Salt Lake where we get a long, long layover. Just like we did when we went to Japan to get it back. Well, you know you're back in America, and the first thing you get is a cheeseburger. Mm. Emily Falcon, please meet your party at the Terminal 2. Baggage claim here. Finally, we're on the last flight. Ah, I am so ready to go home. So ready. On our way home, finally. Ah, gotta go get my car and my computer and stop by the store and then we're going home. Oh my God, yes, the steering wheel's on the right side and I'm back in my own car. Ah, now it's time to go home. Home, home, home. Yeah, it feels really awkward to be here. There's like an echo to the room house. It smells like kind of like it's clean, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> it smells good actually, like fresh paint almost. It's just really, really quiet in here because normally we have the TV and the computers running and the fans running. So it's just, it's weird. It's all I can say, it's weird. But we're home. We are home. That ends our Japan trip. We've successfully made it full circle. Well, here are the made cookies we got in Japan. Got to open it because it's getting close to expire. Here we get some picture of different shape of maids cookies that you're gonna get in the box. Really cool. Mm -hmm. And here's the milk one. 
And then you get a maple one. You got the little made one. Broken. So she got a broken one, but she's got part of it here. <laughs> so there it is. Made cookie. All right, it's time to show you the last bit of items that we picked up in Japan that I forgot to show when I did the video in uh, Akihabara because, well, they were off to the side and I forgot all about them. One of them that we got for the wife's and nice sexy time is a maid cosplay outfit. I'm haven't opened it yet because, well, I was waiting to make this video clip and it's a year I'm not sure. Then my wife picked up, she wanted a, a manga magazine because she's really into these things. And so she picked up a manga magazine with weird um, different colored pages. Yeah, I don't get it either, but <laughs> never floats your boat, right? Not my kind of thing. I remember telling her to open this book. Well, I did open it, but the problem is I can't open it because it's got dirty stuff in it. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if I can find one that's kind of, ooh. But you get the idea from this. Um, this one's not showing any. Some of these pictures are really, really graphic in here. It has some really good artwork in it from pages to pages. So here you go. Some more safe images, but some of these are, yeah. Can't show you them Poster. Now, some kind of plastic poster. Mm. So let's check it out. Hmm, kind of see-through. Not sure where I'm gonna put this yet, but once I figure that out, I'll find a spot for it. So we ended up putting all of our Japan goodies into this bucket. So in here, all the souvenirs and little stuff that we got. So whenever I feel like I want to check it out, just open the box. Don't have a place to display it because the apartment's really small. So when we get moved into another place, I'll be able to display it. Kind of like that stuff up there. It is unboxing Miku time. Remember when I said, oh, we're gonna unbox Miku when we get home. Well, here we are a year later. She's getting kind of beat up and this box is getting dusty and I think it's time to crack her open. Yanking her out. Okay. Now I am a big Miku fan um, because I love the audio software. And if you're into musician stuff, you know about um, that she's a vocaloid or basically a program and Miku is the mascot for one of the voices. A very hard program to use. I've only used it like one song for a very difficult to use. There we go, we got a stand. Okay, oops, something fell out of there. Some little pieces and I'm not sure what they're for yet. Trying to get her out of here. Oh, she's got on hair. Okay, there's one of the hairs. Other hairs, wow. This feels like uh, glass, but it's not. It's very thick plastic. Yep. Kind of leans over a lot farther than I thought. One goes there. Another one goes here. There we go. Okay. Now for the other one. Cool. Let's get her up on the desk. All right, there we go. She's on the shelf. Look at that. Looking right at me. The other figure that I got in Japan over here. She's gonna go perfect up here. Welcome to the shelf, Miku. Okay, now it's time for my review of Japan. What I thought about it, um, what I liked, and what I didn't like. We're gonna start with the positive first. What I really liked about Japan is it's like 20 years in the future from America. We're talking the public transportation is great. You can get anywhere quickly. Um, the technology that they have around there just far surpasses us. Um, especially, really enjoyed the Tibets, you know. Mm, they're great. I ended up purchasing one. You might have seen in a previous older vlog. Um, just because after using one, I had to have one here in America at home. So, um, places to go. There are a lot of cool places to go. You could not explore everything, I don't even think, in a lifetime. There's so much hidden um, shops, 
restaurants, so many things to do and so many places to go. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and that is what I fell in love with. Um, another great thing is I really, really love the old um, Japan, kind of like the older houses, the um, older buildings, the old shrines, um, the older parts of it really, really cool and is what made it feel like, yeah, this is Japan. I really, really enjoyed the food. I tried so many different dishes um, from raw chicken to and some Japanese cuisines I have never even heard of. And, couldn't tell you what they were now. It amazes me how they can get up at like seven in the morning. No, they can get up like before sunrise and be home by sunset. Now that's something I know I couldn't do if I lived and worked there. I couldn't live work those kind of hours. I'm the kind of person that enjoys the eight hours of work a day. Come home and have some beer time and some relaxing time to do whatever you want. I couldn't imagine uh, going to work, coming home, eating dinner, to go to bed, to go do the same thing the next day. Yeah. That's amazing. I really, really love the bullet train system. We need something like that here in America to go from one end of the country to the other. Man, we need bullet trains here and a better public transportation. Um, Japan's public transportation is really, really good compared to here where if you live in an area like I do, your only way out is to uh, drive out or fly out. That's it, or hitchhike. My favorite, favorite part about Japan was Hokkaido, the northern prefecture. Um, it's a less, little less a big city. Um, matter of fact, the trains still run in diesel up there and not the Shikansen and electrics. That was really cool. It was like stepping back in the past and uh, it's cooler up there. <clears throat> and the beer is good. I guess we can talk about some of the things I didn't like about Japan. I'm not gonna lie. I noticed a lot of YouTubers, they do uh, um, sugarcoat. Uh, Japan a lot um, Some of the biggest things that I noticed that really really bugged me and probably The reason why I probably wouldn't live there for a lifetime. I mean I'd probably live there for like a year But I wouldn't live my life there um, Just because of these things when you come from a small town like I do things like this might bother you for one a lot of people I mean you're getting into those trains your stuff touching each other and uh, You know, it's just way way too crowded um Noise. Japan is very, very noisy. And um, it took me a while to adjust to the quietness when I got back home here in Montana. It was like, oh wow, it's quiet. So yeah, I'm sure you've noticed from some of the clips, I've some of them I have to wipe out the audio completely because it's just, yeah, it's really loud, really loud. Um, the littering problem that Japan has is, yes, Japan has probably the worst littering problem I've ever seen. There is trash everywhere. Um, this is something even I didn't do, just didn't film it, but you noticed it, you know, there was a lot, a lot of litter. Even, you know, I, places I couldn't hide it from the blog, like at Osaka, Osaka Castle, where you could see the trash right next to the no littering sign. The seafood, I was not impressed actually. I was impressed by the other Japanese dishes, but their seafood such as uh, crab, lobster, um, salmon, tuna, that kind of stuff, um, not as good as like, um, I would say Anchorage, Alaska has the best seafood on the planet that I've been to, and the Seattle area. Um, those areas were better than Japan, I guess maybe because they farm it a lot, and it's something that they uh, eat on a regular basis and produce in large amounts. Um, Compared to like here in America, it's something they go out and fish and they go out and get and spend months out in the ocean. Um, it's a different, it's a different taste. Um, it's like our McDonald's versus their McDonald's. See here, our McDonald's is crap because it's just massively produced junk beef. And then there, oh my God, it's wonderfully good. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, wasn't um, totally impressed with uh, Japan seafood. I've had better especially in Alaska. Japan is kind of lacking in good beer. As a beer drinker, I didn't really care too much whether they call it sochu and hu chai and all this weird, I think it's fermented rice and stuff like that. Um, so finding a good, good beer in Japan is really, really hard. Um, the Asahi, yeah, I've already had that here. It wasn't anything new when I went there. But for the most part, those the Chaparro and the Asahi are the only two beers that I really cared for. 
The rest of it was like highballer, which is like a malt liquor and flavoring. Yeah. So as a beer drinker and a connoisseur of beer, um, I would probably cry if I was in Japan and was stuck with very limited supplies. Uh, unlike here in the uh, Northwest United States, microbrews flow like rivers here. They're everywhere and so many flavors and choices to choose from. That's about only the main annoyances that really bothered me there. Um, those were things if I lived there, I might get used to it. Some people might already be used to it, but for me, it just turned me off. But if you're like me and into technology and tech, um, Japan is all about that. It's everywhere. Um, everywhere you look, tech, 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 tech. Oh my God, it was a tech heaven. Oh man. Yeah, I was in heaven in that department. Yeah. So there's my, my thoughts on Japan and how I feel about it. Um, uh, one piece of advice is don't listen to a lot of the popular YouTubers out there. I've learned that they're like, some of them, when it comes to the advice stuff, they're about 90% wrong. I guess everyone's situation is different, so keep that in mind when going to Japan. Um, because it is a different world. I would say go there once, at least once. Check it out. Um, if you're into technology, you're gonna see a lot of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, with that, I'm gonna end this vlog here. And we plan to go back to do more family stuff in the future. Not sure on the date, but it is gonna happen. And we'll definitely bring you all along. So until then, enjoy the last vlog after this video, which will be the slideshow of all the pictures that I took. This is Anthony from Anthware, and from this time and every time on, folks, Keep on clicking.